हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय नेक्स्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ मल्टी स्टोरी डिजिटल स्ट्रक्चर एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन यूजिंग स्टैक प्रो वर्जन बी आई टाइप इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डिफाइन एंड असाइन डेड एंड लाइव लोड इन दिस मॉडल सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड माय वन स्टोरी मॉडल हियर सो टू असाइन और डिफाइन लोड फ्रॉम दिस वेबसाइट लिस्ट क्लिक हियर लोड एंड डेफिनेशन एंड हियर क्लिक दिस सेकंड वन लोड केस डिटेल्स क्लिक हियर ऐड एंड फ्रॉम हियर I want to assign now dead load and live load, but the first one I am defining here the load case is EQ, which is R square, and for my this building I have R square force from four direction. So with all the four direction I have R square, so I am defining EQ X positive, this one, then EQ X negative, add. another one is z positive add next one is z negative add why i am defining earthquake force first because for this structure if you assign earthquake force in your building then you have to define that at the first if you define that in the middle or at the last it will give you an error message so then you have to shift this load at the top that's why i am just first defining this for now i am defining my dead load so dl which is dead load ll which is live load and and the wind load i will define them after that but it is not a problem right now i i can define them later when i am assigning wind load so close this window and now just keep this four load case blank right now when i am assigning the earthquake force i will show you how to assign earthquake force using this four cases and after definition of this load case select this dead load and click add from here i have a load as per my this excel sheet i have a live load of 6 kN per meter meter square which is as per code and this is depending on the type of the structure you have and then i have a dead load of 2.4 kN per meter square which is for my slab weight and i have already said i have 100 mm thick slab and the weight of 1 meter 1 meter by 100 into 24 is the unit weight of the concrete so weight of the concrete this is uh, 2.4 kN per meter square and i have a floor finish of 1.25 kN per meter square as per my code and also a partition wall load of 1.25 kN per meter square minimum as per my code so total dead load 3.65 kN per meter square total live load 7.25 kN per meter square and machinery wall I have 125 machinery wall all around this structure. You can see here all the perimeter and also along uh, around this stair. So I have calculated the weight. I have total building height is 3.3 meter, which is my floor height. So I have directed uh, one foot for my beam depth, and this is an approximation. So total height is here 3 meter, and 23 kilonewton per meter cube is the unit weight of machinery. That's why I have 8.63 kilonewton per meter. is the wall load so from here to define flow load click here flow load and here press minus 3.65 and i have to define a range of y so take this node cursor double click on this node and now you can see i have y is 3.3 so minimum is 0 and maximum is now 3.3 i am just defining this one right now this should be direction global y click here add close and select this live load click here add go to flow load from here minus 7.25 then this is also gy and the range is 3.3 meter maximum y then add close now if you click on this load you can see the load has been assigned and we see showing with a blue color shade you can see this is my flow load and go to here dead load i have my wall load then add click this member load minus i have 8.63 this is also in the direction gy add close and now take this beam cursor select all the beam at the perimeter of this building so i have selected all the beams where i have the machinery load and now select this load and check this assign to selected beams assign yes the load has been assigned now for my 
machinery wall and also i have cell point here for whole structure i am not adding cell point right now because i have not completed my total model so when i have completed my whole structure then i will show you how to add cell point of this structure under this dead load so all my beam column bracing weight should be counted uh, to complete this design when i have completed this model then i will show you how to count the cell point of this structure under this dead load category so thanks for watching my this video in the next video you will see how to do multi-story st structure from this one story so see you in the next video